Hi guys, welcome to my new web show. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the differences between a website designer and a website developer. Now I get it, you guys can easily get those confused and most of you guys and I will say web designer, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to break down exactly what each entails and what you guys need to know about them. Both build websites. Let's get that first. They both do websites, but they're very different on what they exactly what they do. We're gonna break it down for you guys. Both can create a website for you guys. They can both build it, but they have different roles, and we're gonna discuss what roles they play in. A rough, a good definition of a developer is they build the structure of a site using coded languages. You know, HTML, uh, you know, JavaScript, all those coding. That's what they do. Designers, they actually create things visually and make things user friendly and make it very fun for you to visit the site. Now, without the designer, there's not really much of a function of a site. So you need a developer to bring it to life. That's what they also do. All right, let's break down what exactly a web designer and a web developer does and the meanings behind each field of work. So ensuring you guys to make sure you guys hire the right people for your website. All right, so you need a web designer. What kind of web designer you guys need? Well, there's three types. First type is user interface or UI designers. They focus on the look and feel of your website. So if you want your like website to look pretty and to look amazing, that's the best way to put it. They have to create a mindset. Next type of designer. UX designers, user experience, or UX, they're focused on the functions of your site, making sure that things are placed correctly and things work when you click on them. They're very logical and analytical for a mindset. That's the best way to put it. Now, visual designers, they are the mixture of UI and UX designers. Great option, right? Well, it's good, but I don't recommend you guys hiring somebody that does both unless they're very efficient. So, like I said, check their experience, check their resumes, like we all do. But here's one big tip of advice why I don't recommend hiring one visual designer and just hiring a UI and a UX on its own. Major reason, they have two different skill set. One's very creative, one is very analytical and logical about it. It's good to have both, yes, I understand, it will save you money. If you got somebody that does both, they're gonna focus all on design and then halfway through working on it, they're gonna focus on the, the function in your site. It's gonna get confusing. You lose track of yourself. You're gonna figure out, oh, you're, you're gonna forget. Do I need to work on how do I look? Or do I need to make sure it works? Two different things, right? How it looks and how it works. Those are two different things. And it's hard to go switch back and forth, especially when if you're the client and you're telling them what you want, it, it, you can easily you know, lose track of what you're working on. All right, web developers. Well, same thing as you know, web designers. They have three different categories. Front-end developers. They are the ones that, you know, if they end up, you fix your site, they make sure you can navigate it. Like pretty much everything you see in the front of your website. Everything that everyone visits and sees, the slideshows, the video player, all of that. They do all. They, make, they, they present all the front stuff, literally, like their name says, front-end developer. Next, we have back-end developers. Now, it may sound a little weird, but the back-end developer is essential. They create all that data, they create of all that information to store to your, into your website. You know, have your website has all, all those photos, all those videos collected. They create that database. Servers, you ever heard of them? That's what they do. They create servers. They make sure to maintain all that power and all that stuff that works for your website. And it stores it through your website. That's their job. And last but not least, the full stack developer. Just like the designer, it's a combination of the first two, backend and front-end developer. They're known as the jack of all trades. They're the ones that you guys see and hear about more of nowadays. Back then, not so much. Most front-end and back-end developers know little about both. 
they're pr so they're pretty much all full stack developers. They're not a rare breed like the visual designers. They're more common. So they do everything and they're gonna make sure your site works properly and everything functions and all the little stuff you need. All right, so here's some pretty much basic questions that I get a lot. How much is this gonna cost? Well, I'm gonna do a separate video to break down exactly how much things cost. But for now, I'll tell you guys, that's about $500 to $2,000 you guys are looking to spend. How long does it take to build a website? It could be, you know what? It breaks down to six to seven phases. And I will go through that in a separate video as well. But through those phases, it could take four to six months. Yeah, it's gonna take a while, but trust me, you guys gonna want them to take their time because your website is gonna be a fix of everything. So you guys could fine tune it, make sure everything's perfect. And remember one thing about getting a website. Website maintenance is essential. That is an essential thing that you guys all need. Not, don't worry about the SEO or the site finding on Google. Site maintenance is essential. That's something you should definitely put aside as a monthly cost, annual cost to pay for because your site needs to be protected and up to date. Well, that's all the time I have for now, unfortunately. But thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to send them through any of these outlets and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And I'll catch you guys next week. And oh, stick around. I'll have a little preview of next week's subject.